What's up? What's up? What's going on, guys? It's your host, Invisible DFS. Let's talk Draft King. Fantasy player of basketball for the slate of August the 20th, 2020. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm watching the uh, last games right now. Dallas against Clippers, and Dallas is looking good. Of course, I didn't play Boban, but Boban came in earlier and was doing his thing. So, uh, before I start, let me see what I want to say. Oh, man, the Philadelphia team looking so bad. Embiid was somebody I like, and uh, more than, of course, uh, Jokic. And it would have still better than Jokic, but could have been so much better. So, uh, actually, both teams get blown out, both Philly and Denver. So, uh, yeah, Coach Brown probably going to get fired after once they get eliminated. So, the only other thing is, guys, let's just talk about the slate, all right? So, I'm still looking good. Could still have a good night. It's all depending on what's going to happen in this game. So, let's start with the point guard position. Of course, we have uh, a lot of expensive players in this slate. I'm talking about a lot of them. So, if we go all, you have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six guys over 10 case. That is an expensive slate. But... Let me gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys players that's none of those 10k guys. Of course, I'm gonna try to give you enough players. And uh, so, if you want to play one of those guys, enough cheap plays. So, if you want to play one of those guys, you can put him in your lineup. All right, so let's start with the point guard position Adams. I mean, uh, Arden 11.7k, uh, 11,700. So, yeah, I think he's a prop. He might not, I like him, but at the same time, I don't know how much I'm going to play him because I feel like there's guys that's cheaper than him that probably can outscore him or to, or at, or he might outscore them by less than 10 points. For example, I like Davis, James, better than him. And Lillard again, guys, it's a no-no for me, all right? So ne now let's talk about the point guard. Arden, uh, let's go by a position again. P Arden, Lillard, uh, I already play Arden than Lillard, so Lillard is a no for me. I'm not playing a Lillard on DK again, not at that price. All right, LeBron James, point guard, small forward, but I never, I always put him in the small forward. I don't think I ever play him at the point guard position. Uh, Westbrook is still out. Chris Paul, 8K, even at that price, I like him. CJ, it's a no for me. Brogdon, I don't mind Brogdon at 6.9K. But I like Gil at that price. So Gil is definite. So you got Chris Paul, Gil. So far, out of everybody I see, that's like my favorite two. Then you have Troy Gage, I like. Bledsoe. And uh, none is a no no. Folks, 4.5k, like him. Better than GG, even though GG outscored him last game. Uh, I like a little bit of Hill. Rivers at 3.8k, even though he didn't good. Diffy man, it's just been bad, so I don't that could be a reason for the coach not to play him much. Or maybe he'll get out of the slump. But you know, it's for me it's a no no. I'd rather play Rivers, I would rather play Holiday. Now I see MCW might come back. Doubtful is doubtful, that's good. Whew. We don't want another player on the mix. And uh, Gigi Augustine, I don't mind taking a chance on him. We're gonna see the minutes. You see less me than I thought, but still end up with 34 fantasy points. So, in the last two games, oh, that's he has been good. All right, so for the shooting guard position, let's start on top. Arden again, Butler, love Butler, I love Gill. I already play Butler with CJ. Uh, Oladipo is a no regardless if he play or not. Of course, if he's shorter, I don't mind that price. Hero, I like. Fournier, I don't mind taking a chance. I like Sh Gordon. I think I'm going to be playing even more minutes. Uh, Was 4.8K, nice price. Trent, it's it's a no for me. Uh, it's a no for me. I know he's struggling last game, but see, the minutes was there. But it's still a no for me. Uh, KCP is a no. For, okay, that's too expensive. It should be 3K. It's a no for me. Holiday could see more minutes if... Which one is that? Hell on Holiday. Uh, could see more minutes if Olajipo is out. 
uh, actually seen 16 only so I can see and play more means for large pulls out right that's as far as I'll go uh, down there the only other guy would be just in holiday he's seen about 31 minutes I can see him still get about that much well it's, it's 31.4 should be 31 not 32 it's not 0.5 anyway yeah so holiday I can see me go down there and play holiday and a little bit of Danny Green I can see him bounce back and if he does start the when the game starts, if he start hitting a shot, he's gonna be playing. He's gonna see in a little bit more minutes. All right, for the small forward, James is my favorite small forward. I love Warren. I like Butler. Uh, I like Midi a lot tomorrow. I mean, I like Midi a lot tomorrow. One of my favorite play for tomorrow. Even against Orlando, Gallo 6.6k. I like him. I think like the price much but i like him so if i have to go with my five it would be james uh warren midi butler those are my four and then coming the cheaper price i like kovi over anthony a little bit more i like gordon i like those guys too but i would put kovi as my five and then of course i would play a little bit of those guys like uh, carmelo El gordon was uh not really a house james ennis 4k if gordon doesn't come back for orlando and uh anybody down there maybe robinson uh robinson hasn't it's look like the minutes are getting away from him 23 minutes he hasn't really been playing that much minutes so that's a no and uh iggy was very disappointed last game but i can see him bounce back Maybe I can do a, uh, maybe I can do a, a one of those team and put them in there, and that's basically it, guys. Uh, ele only eleven minutes, so now there's no need for me to go down there. I want to. I didn't play him last game, but I thought he was gonna be playing more minutes. He did not, so I'm glad I did not play him, and I'm not looking forward to playing him again. For the power forward, Davis on top, and also Giannis. I like both those guys. Nurkic, Nike, that's a little bit too pricey for me. I know he had a great first half and then he disappeared because of foul trouble in the second half. It's just a little bit too high for me. I must stay away from him uh, unless if I stack this team. Warren, I like 8.1k. Gallo again. I had to play Gallo over Cosma 10 out of 10 times. Maybe 9 out of 10 times. Uh, Gordon, if he came back against Milwaukee, I might since no, I'm not playing him. The fact that that his first game back, uh, Covington, I don't mind. Basley, Basley, he might not play that much minutes because it's the playoff. So for that reason, I'm staying away. Unless somehow it's a blowout, Kelly Odinik, the minutes is not there, so I let go of Ennis. Uh, quite a, not sure what happened. Uh, questionable. Quite a play 25 minutes in game one, posting eight points and five rebounds. He had a bad game, but I can see him bounce back. I like Clark because of his price. Gabriel uh, play 15 minutes. I think most of the reason is because of the fact that uh, he, the person is guarding, which is Davis, most of the time, and he's gonna get in foul trouble. But Clark, the, I love that price compared to FD, where the price is 4.1. 1k so definitely like the price all right at this so did i see small forward again i mean power forward is giannis davis my second one third uh kobe fourth and uh, galinari possibly fifth all right. all right so about that all right so for my centers Davis, I don't even, D Davis is a center, but I usually don't play him at the center. I play him at the power forward position, but Davis as a center would be my favorite center. But I'm not looking to play him at center. Uh, so uh, my top five centers is uh, Bam at 7.5K, Turner, I love Turner in FD, but not in ZK because of the price. Um, Adams, we just don't know what they're gonna do with Adams. I like Book Lopez at 5k. So Busevich is more expensive in uh, DK in FD done. 
than Nurkic. Nurkic is like 7.7, which is crazy. I love Nurkic in FD, but not in DK. So, uh, the price is so close to each other, I'll probably go with, uh, oof, I don't know if I want to go with any of them, to be honest. Bam is the guy. Uh, Adams, I like, but just don't know if you're going to get the minutes. So, uh, Book Lopez. So, I'm going to try to go cheap. Like, the most expensive guy I'm going to try to play is Bam as my center. And maybe I'll get a little make a lineup with Vuk and Nurkic, but I'm not really looking forward to play those guys. Uh, but definitely Bam and uh, Book Lopez is my favorite two center. Oh, Jeff Green. I like Jeff Green. I don't know. They have him as a center. I like Jeff Green. I like him on FD at 5.1, so I definitely like him. And I don't mind taking a chance on out. Those guys need to play more minutes, man. Those guys basically play 24 minutes between them, between Howard and uh, and uh, Maggie, which is crazy. And uh, another player, Tucker, if you not play, but I don't like that price. But if you want to go there, you can go there. The is going to be there. All right, so let's talk about my five players. All right, so first player, of course, will be my center position. Let's just get it over with. And I'm gonna go with Bam here. That price is great. When can I see the minutes? Should be able to do his whole his uh, against. Uh, let's see the other centers against uh, Turner. Uh, the price just too close for me to go with Turner, so I'll go with Bam here. And hopefully he can return the uh, 50 fantasy points here. But I, I don't mind anything between 45 and, and up. All right. So the next player will be. All right, so the next play I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with uh, Dragic here. The fact that none is didn't even play, that's telling me Dragic is going to be playing a lot of minutes. All right, 6K, I know his price went up from what, 4.2K? Uh, basically 1.7K difference. So, but I'm still going to go with Dragic here. Uh, this li lineup is a lineup where it's, I'm going to give you mid price guys here, all right? So uh, my third guy, I'm gonna get, go with uh, Gil here. I expect him to bounce back at that price. Probably gonna be a popular play because of this price and the team is playing against, but I'm gonna go with him here. And my uh, fourth play, trying to find you know a guy that's a little bit cheap. That will be, let's see, Bledsoe, 5.3K. Expect him to do a little bit better than he did last game. Bledsoe will be my fourth player. So my fifth player, I was looking at Butler. Here, 7.9K. Let's see. Uh, Butler in Jana, Miami, that's the first game. 7.9K. I love that price for Butler. So uh, like I told you guys, I like me this. So I'm going to go with him here. Alright, so this lineup you cannot really. So uh, I'm gonna go with MIDI here. Uh, let's say if you wanna put LeBron James in there, you got you don't really have much left, but you can do it if you want to. Um, but I'm gonna go with uh, Melton here. So this would be better if you just go in players that's you know that's less than 8k on this lineup. But if you wanna put a player that's over that, you can go with let's see. Uh, Savage, Warren, Paul, I like CP3. I like Butler, so you can put any of those guys in there. But me personally, I'm going to go with Midi here, all right? Or you can take Midi out and put LeBron James because I love LeBron James, actually. So uh, uh, definitely going to have these five players with LeBron James in one lineup and try and hopefully two cheap guys and hopefully they can give me uh, 50 to 60 between them. That's basically it, guys. I appreciate you guys. Please subscribe, turn on your bell notification, drop a like, and I'm out. Yes, sir. Let's see what's this called, the game. Oh, like Clippers coming back, 55-50. Please drop a like in this video and subscribe. Hey, hey, hey.